In this video, I will be doing some benchmarks on my custom 2012 17-inch MacBook Pro with the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M. We have an 81286 logic board inside here. It's been custom fitted to fit in the 17-inch chassis. We no longer have a express card slot. And we now have USB 3.0 and a SD card reader. Here's the SD card and the battery indicator. Here's a comparison between the 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro and the custom 2012 17-inch MacBook Pro. With the 2011 17-inch, we have the highest spec Apple offered, a 2.5 gigahertz Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the AMD Radeon graphics card with the Intel HD Graphics 3000. This graphics card is still functional. With the custom 2012 17-inch, we have the highest spec Apple offered for the 15-inch model, a 2.7 gigahertz Core i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the HD 4000 graphics and the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M. On the left, we have the 2012 running macOS Ventura via OpenCore Legacy Patcher. On the right, we have the 2011 running macOS High Sierra. The reason why High Sierra is because High Sierra is the last OS that supports AMD graphics for this model, and this laptop still has its AMD graphics card still working. Okay, we have Geekbench 5 loaded on both machines. We're going to compare the custom 2012's 2.7 GHz Core i7 versus the 2011's 2.5 GHz Core i7. And uh, this will take some time, but I'll speed up the video. For the results, we have a noticeable improvement. The 2012 scored a 3167 multi-core score, and the 2011 scored a 2816 multi-core score. For the single-core score, the 2012 scored an 808, and the 2011 scored a 744. Okay, so we have both machines in bootcamp mode running Windows 11 Pro, and we're going to run some benchmarks on Windows. We're running CPU-Z with the GT650M, and we have the Radeon graphics. Okay, so we're going to run the OpenCL benchmark on Geekbench 5. For the results, we have a score of 3033 for the 2012 and a score of 1400 for the 2011. Okay, so we're going to run Unigen Heaven, and uh, I'll speed this up as well. For the benchmark, the GT 650M did much better than the AMD graphics card with a FPS of 34 versus 26, and a score of 857 versus 656. Overall, I'm very happy with the results. I can actually say that this is a real 2012 17-inch MacBook Pro with NVIDIA graphics, display output, USB 3.0, and an SD card reader. Thanks for watching my video.